Welcome back to 843 TV. We are here at the Beaufort Council Chambers today and we're talking with different city councilmen. And up next we have Bill Prokop. He's the city manager and also Reese Bertoff, who is the fire chief and the director of communications. So welcome, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for having us. We've been learning a lot today. Uh, so we're going to be hearing about all the strides and a lot happening in the area of communications in the city of Beaufort. And, and that's kind of what you're spearheading. Share a little bit about where we are with that. Certainly. As a result of uh, the last couple of staff and city council retreats, we have been working very, very hard to start to bring communications to our citizens in the city of Beaufort in a way that they want to consume them. And that's where we see this heading. So we're working very hard on social media, on direct face-to-face -face communications by meeting with our neighborhood groups and citizens in our community, and also making sure that we have good, accurate, and timely information released to our traditional media sources to make sure that people understand exactly what's going on in their community. And what are some of the areas of communication? What are some of the topics, I might add, that you're focusing on getting out there? Absolutely. So very important that we let people know what the council is working on, to work to engage people in the public debate for the city of Beaufort. There's always topics that are out there that are on the thoughts and minds and lips of people in our community that they want to talk about. And we want to give them avenues for one, to know that it's going on, for two, where they can come and discuss that with the representatives, and three, where they can go to staff and get more information if they need it. I think your job is so important because I really believe a successful government depends on good communication. I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, you mentioned um, the neighborhood meetings. Tell us a little bit more about that neighborhood meeting forum and also the Ali Institute. Excellent. So we've had the opportunity to engage our citizens in their neighborhood groups for many, many years in the city of Beaufort. We have roughly 22 identified neighborhood groups. We have about 30% that are actively meeting some on a monthly basis. And what we've been trying to do is take the face of the city Bill around and let them talk to him on a one-on-one -on -one basis and let them hear how Bill is very, very uh, interested in making sure that we have quality employees providing quality customer service to our citizens. And most recently, Bill and I were able to go to the USCB Ali Institute and meet with a very, uh, let's say, eclectic group of individuals from our community that actually span from Hilton Head to Northern Beaufort County and discuss some key topics that are going on in local municipal government. And it was very, very eye-opening to get in front of those individuals and let them know this is what we're up to, this is how it works, what questions do you have, and how do you think that we're doing? And it was a very, very eye-opening and enriching experience. That's great. For both sides, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> obviously. Yeah. And I would add on the communications, one of the most important things we're doing is listening. And the, that's the other side of communication. Sometimes we forget that part mm -hmm. of communicating. Well, exactly, <laughs> because what we really want to know from all the neighborhood group, what's the problems that they are concerned about so that we can say, okay, are we addressing it? Is this common across all neighborhoods or is it just unique? So that's a big part of what we're trying to understand. That's great. Since we're in such a beautiful outdoor living area, parks and open spaces is very important. So what are some of the initiatives that the city is taking on? Well, we have probably a lot more parks and land that's reserved for recreational purposes. And that could just be a walk. But it, we have in the city over 207 acres of either open space or parks that we have to maintain. So we are now looking at all the parks that we have. You know, we have basically the four or five that are most used for different events is the uh, Chambers, Henry Chambers Waterfront Park, mm -hmm. the Pigeon Point Park, the Washington Street Park, the South Side Park, and a, a lot of requests now about the depot where the trail goes by so people could use that for events. So we're looking at what are the needs what can we do, what can we maintain, and now of course as you know recently it just added to through the county is the Whitehall Park which mm -hmm. will be a new addition in the next year or so for us to be maintaining and taking care of. So we're, we're really saying what are our needs, what do, we, what do we need, what is the public need, and what kind of access do we have to have to those parks. I think too on the communication topic I didn't even know all those parks existed. Now I live in in a uh, different part of Beaufort County, but still, we like to come over here too. So just getting the word out, I had no idea all of those parks existed over here. If you took a list, and a lot of these may be only a space as much as we're sitting in here, but we have 34 different parks wow. that are wow. maintained by the city, not all owned by the city, but we maintain, whether it's for open land trust or the uh, uh, rural and critical lands or the city, 
So we really have to look hard at what our needs are, and, and you're absolutely correct. We just did a survey of Southside Park, which is a 37-acre park. Wow. We did a survey in the neighborhood, which is about a mile, let's say a mile square. 35% of the people didn't know it was a park. Mm. Now, I'm going to ask you to pack a lot of information into a small amount of time. <laughs> what can the Beaufort citizens look for from the city in terms of, I mean, 2018 is almost over, so let's look at 2019. And I understand you've got plans all the way through to 2030. We will be uh, holding in January and February two work sessions that's called Beaufort 2030. And what we're planning, we're bringing a futurist in, one of the national leading futurists, her name is Rebecca Ryan. And she does this around the country. In fact, this, this past week she was in Asheville doing the similar thing for Asheville, but saying, what do we want to be in 2030? And the way I addressed it to Consul last week, Stephen Murray mentioned to you that he has two five-year-old twins. What does Buford going to What is Buford going to look like when his twins are in high school? Mm. Well, that's a Good great point. question for us to ponder, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us, thank and you. thank you for joining us for another very interesting episode of Eight Four Three TV, where communities come to speak. Mm -hmm.